As part of my job, I test mobile applications, and it is always disruptive and annoying when I have to put down the phone and go to my web browser so that I can enter the information to create the defect record. But using IBM's Mobile Quality Assurance Services, I just have to shake the phone in order to use the built-in bug reporting. An image of the app is captured, and I can annotate it using my fingers. Once I'm done with the screen capture, I enter in some text describing the problem. My spelling isn't so good, but the phone's built-in text processing capabilities help me with that. And that's it. I just tap to submit the bug and all of the context of the mobile app gets collected from my phone and sent to the IBM service. Let me show you what gets captured. This is the web page in the service for the app that I'm testing. You can see the bug report that I just submitted. When I click to drill down into the details, you can see that a lot of context was automatically collected for the defect. Information about the resource levels on the phone, about the network and carrier, memory usage at various points in time. At the top of the bug report, the context information is summarized. This makes one handy place to start for the developer who is assigned to fix this bug. Because this instance of mobile quality services has been configured to work with the Jazz Hub DevOps services, as soon as I submit the bug report from my phone, a defect work item gets opened in the development environment. And in the meantime, I can just continue executing my tests against the mobile app immediately as soon as I've submitted the bug. I develop mobile apps using the IBM Mobile First platform. My Worklight Studio development environment is set up to work with the Jazz Hub DevOps service where my project is managed. When the people testing my app find defects, they submit a bug report right from inside the app running on their phone, and I see that defect show up in the list in my development environment. Getting enough information to figure out the root cause of a defect is always a challenge, especially for mobile apps. What I love about the defects coming from IBM Mobile Quality Assurance Services is that they include a link to the page in the service that contains all of the information captured off of the phone when the bug was submitted. All of this information saves me so much time because I know exactly what was happening on the phone when the defect occurred. I can quickly make a fix in the mobile app and deliver that fix to the Jazz Hub DevOps services. It will then be included in the next continuous integration build of the app. Our mobile DevOps solution includes an automated build and test capability that executes after every continuous integration build, but before the app is distributed to testers for fix verification. We use the IBM Urban Code Deploy system with a plugin that automates the process of uploading the build output to real mobile devices available in the App Purify device cloud. The mobile deployment and automated testing process is easy to define and customize in Urban Code. And the plugin supports all the types of automated mobile testing available in the App Purify device cloud, including test scripts recorded by the developer in her Worklight Studio environment, or mobile test automation using other common techniques such as Apple UI automation scripts, or even random generated tests. Each automated test run can include a different profile for the environment for the mobile device, including network carrier and network quality, the location of the device, and load from other apps running on the device. Execution of the automated tests may result in a defect if the test fails. But even successful test runs produce very useful information, so all of the test execution artifacts are retained with links to them available in the Urban Code logs. This mobile test history information includes video capture of the test run on the mobile device, as well as extensive records of the device resource utilization and performance. Developers frequently find this historical data useful to consult as they work to optimize the mobile app and its performance. After the bill containing the fix goes through a series of automated tests successfully, I can distribute that version of the app directly back to the tester who opened the defect so that they can confirm that the problem is really fixed. 
while I'm still testing the mobile app, I get an email telling me that a new build is ready for me to verify a fix. I click on the link in the email and can download the new build containing the fix. Once the new build is installed on my phone, I can verify the fix and then mark the defect closed. Mm -hmm.